It would suck to be one of the goo balls left behind, but whatever. Nice. Dang. You know, the reason I hadn't played this earlier is because I thought it was just a silly game. Um, and while it is, um, it actually is a pretty high quality. A sign. This cave looks like it's been undisturbed for thousands of years. Until now, when the pipe broke through the ceiling above, the sunlight must have blinded these rare albino goo balls. They didn't seem to notice when it began to snow. Maybe they would wake up if they had something to jump onto. The sign painter. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait, does this mean I build downward? Come on, guys. Don't slack. You know you're interested. Fine, I guess I have to build one more. Can not hit this guy? Alright, now we have to reach up. Probably should have done this in the other order because building upward is going to be a pain. Three point three meters to go. Still three point three to go. Two point three to go. One point two. Are we there yet? We made it. Fifteen of eight collected. You can hold click outside the goo bridge uh, to herd them as well. Oh, you can hold click. Alright. That's cool. The ground shape. World of Goo Corporation. Trademark. Now open. Wait. Let's go shopping. Some of those characters look quite familiar somehow. World of Gore Goo Corporation. Trademark is unlocked. Alright. If you get in trouble, go back in time. Ooh, that looks painful. The goo balls were excited to explore the mysterious pipe system, even if it meant traversing ridiculously contrived terrain. One of the goo balls seemed to say he felt like an armadillo. Moo. Love the anonymous sign painter. This looks risky, as can possibly be.
Ha! <laughs> Gravity. Some of these guys seem to appreciate the gravity of the situation. Can I not connect all the points all at once here? That's too bad. I already read this. Come on, let's herd you. There we go. We made it. I don't know if we got 26, though. Oh, no, we did. We definitely got 26. We got 31. I guess that's okay. I did avoid uh, the gears there, somehow. Oh yeah, it was made by the same guys who made uh, Human Resource Machine. I was gonna say, yeah, those characters look very much like the ones from Human Resource Machine. I can't say I'm familiar with Little Inferno, though. I mean, I could say it, would, but it would be untrue. Race your oh. A new species of goobal. They look quite beautiful. Maybe the commitment anxiety, I'm unsure. It looks like them can be easily detached from each other. Yeah, so notion here. Oops. Well, that's the notion. It's that they're not necessarily bound in their initial formation. Species is pretty cool, though. If a goo ball falls 10 meters, or falls into a well 10 meters deep, and climbs up 3 meters each day, it slides down two meters at night. 
Will he still look fabulous in the morning? Maybe if he were to brace against the walls as hard as he could, and believe in the power of friction, he could leave the ground behind. The sign painter. Okay, we made it. Now we just have to believe in the power of the cards. Um, Alright, so how do we get off the ground here? I mean, it says we made it, but now we have to, like, take apart the structure without damaging its integrity or something. Um, so, I don't know. Do I just, like, start taking some of these guys out? Well, I, actually, I guess we're solidly attached up there. Two, three, oh, three is not doable. Hey look, we're all over the place. Alright, so yeah, three is too many. Three is right out. I got greedy. I wanted to do better than two. Why? I don't know. It's a scoreboard effect, guys. So, where do I split this? I was also curious, because, like, this level's easier than the rest. I mean, I'm sure the game's going to progressively get more challenging. So, might as well figure out the game mechanics now instead of later. Um... Made it, so says the game. Have you ever seen the Emperor's New Groove? Yes, I have seen the Emperor's New Groove. Have you seen his old groove? And how groovy was it? Alright, so this is, like, not a good solution at all. Um, 
I could get it to lean far right, that would probably improve it considerably. Like if it's just leaning against one edge instead of leaning against both, that might help. Uh-oh. I might have damaged the integrity of the structure. Okay, fine. If this tower wants to build to the left, we'll build left. Um... Or something. Who needs Polybridge when you got this? Okay, I'm getting a little too ambitious. And I had it earlier. I was just trying to figure out the game mechanics for future reference. Um, Super solid. Now this is never going to reach, but it's solid, so... So we got some technical difficulties here. Um, <laughs> well, that's so, um, so not that great. Um, Alright, so that reinforces that base. Okay, in theory, we made it this time. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. There goes all my progress right there. Uh, this is not good. Well, it's walking downward. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so now where is guy number two going to come from? We collected one. We need to collect another one.
Okay, we collected two. Where are we going to collect a third one? Just to show the game that we're not going to bow down to it. Okay, there's a the third one. How many more of these can I... Oh. Um... Yeah, two might be the limit here. Two very well might be the limit. Beating two looks very challenging here. All right, we might beat two. After all, there's a third one. Um, there's a fourth one. Oh, this actually reduces the mass of the whole structure, so. might be possible for me to succeed at um, harvesting numerous of these guys. Six? Doing any more than six, though, is not looking like that's going to happen. Um, oh, there's seven. Can I beat seven? Eight? Can I beat eight? Beating eight looks like impossible. Just saying, because then I have to start breaking this apart. Um, unless I could take this guy and throw him in. No. <laughs> That'd be too optimistic. Um, hmm. I'm thinking eight's the limit. If I, like, detach the entire structure, maybe I could go for more. Oops. Yeah, we got 11. And the rest of those guys just stay behind. 11's not too bad on a level where they... Expect you to collect two. Tumblr. Keep growing. Uh oh. Do I have to avoid something in the center there? Jeez. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so I get the theme of this level. It's very amusing. At least now it is. Who knows, over time this might become a bit of a annoying theme, but for now it's amusing. So I'm going to let the little white square be one side of this structure, just untouched. And everything I build is going to build out as far as possible from that square. Nice little level. All right, so 
Oh, there's even a retry button on the lower left. Just in case I really botch it up. collected 10 already. I'm sure we could do a whole lot better. Like, as this keeps turning. Why is there even a reset button? Like, how could you mess this up to the point of no return? You might mess it up to the point where you're frustrated with the level, but... Oh, I get it, I get it. So... Yeah. Easier guys might refuse to be herded toward the goal. So some people could find it impractical to keep playing this over and over. Whatever, we got 12. 12 is good. And then what? Chain. Balance? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. The goo balls on this side didn't seem to like the goo balls there on that side. I don't know. They look the same to me. Totally delicious. The, z the side painter. Okay. Um. Yeah, this balance level looks. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, why am I trying to balance this? Do I even have enough goo balls to balance this? It's not like this chain ever breaks, it's just that, um, whatever. Yeah, I don't understand any purpose in attempting to balance this. So we're going to completely disregard the level su suggestion and just do the opposite of balancing. Dude, wake up over here. Alright, so... That's that side. So then now we build on the other side. Oops. Well, okay, I lost a guy. I get that ultimately this will have to balance, um, but I just don't see that as one of the immediate goals of this structure. Gosh darn it. Boy, can I just pick these guys up and move them about freely? Even if they're not directly linked to this chain here. Can I even move them through this? No, I can't. So they have to go up and over. Up, 
over, around. Guys, can you please just join up with this structure here? There we go. Jeez. Okay, so now how do I get this all to balance? Do I even need this to balance? We need 15. We got 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, um, 24, 25, OCD, well fine, I suppose that's fine, that'll do. This is addicting, so I better quit once I complete World 1. Oh wow. I get a little flag here. Whatever for, I'm not sure. Um, some balls are lighter than other balls. Oh dear. Open the gates and fly, monkeys, fly. But don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, a sign painter. Um, oh wait, can I not build with these guys down here? This is pretty cool. So you can just elevate the structure. Alright, I guess that's as good as it gets. See, the reason I avoided this was because of this gear thing on the horizon. Not too high. Not too low. Uh-oh. Jeez, what are we talking about here? Oh my goodness. 
Fisty swore he would never be like those tadpoles that grow up and shoot colored gems out of their mouths. But he wondered what it might be like. A sign painter. Okay. Okay, so this level isn't so terrifying. It's just scary to start on. Well, we did. We so dead. Whatever, this minute, uh, I'll come back to this at a later time. This is tricky. This requires coordination and stuff. What's OCD, by the way? Obsessive, obsessive completion distinction criteria. Finish in 14 or fewer moves. Okay. Yeah, um, this is great and all. We'll pick it up again. It's a fun little game looks quite addicting. I better cut off um, here before I get too addicted. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm not sure what game to do next, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Um, in the interim, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.